now let's talk about what's coming next. This year at Google I.O., we're announcing two major updates to Daydream. The first is support for a brand new category of standalone headsets. And second is a major update to the Daydream software platform. We're going to call this 2.0 release Daydream Euphrates. Let's talk about both, and let's start with headsets. So as Clay announced yesterday, the standalone headset takes everything that we love about smartphone VR and makes it even better. All you need for VR, the software, the hardware, is in one integrated device. It's much more immersive because of WorldSense. And you can get into VR in just seconds. You just put the headset on, you're ready to go. No extra wires, PCs, or setup required. Now, for these standalone headsets, we wanted to create a large ecosystem of devices and of content. And doing so requires great hardware. Also with Daydream Euphrates, we're updating the Daydream home experience for both smartphones and standalone headsets. First, we're going to make it easy to discover the best content in VR. You'll see a curated list of continuously updated stream of content with thematic collections mixing together thousands of videos, experience, games, and apps. Now, once you're in the VR experience, we don't want to break that sense of immersion. So Daydream Euphrates also has a new dashboard that embraces the immersive nature of VR and appears right on top of any app. It's super fast to load and lets you stay in VR. You won't have to leave the experience to check a notification, change settings, or even to switch apps. So now that we've made it easy to stay in VR, we want to help you share that experience with others, even if they're not wearing a VR headset. So today, I'm excited to announce Cast Support is coming to Daydream. With this feature, thank you, thank you. It's one of our top requested features. So with this feature, uh, you'll be able to pull up the dashboard and simply select a casting destination. As you go from app to app, your cast station stays. Now casting, what I love about it is it changes the VR experience from an individual experience to a shared experience and really brings your friends and family into the fun with you. Now casting is good for people who are physically near you, but what about everyone else? To help you share your favorite moments in VR, we're also adding the ability to capture a screenshot or a short video of your daydream experience and share it on your favorite social media or messaging app. 